All right, Pisces, let's jump into the reading for today. If you need anything, guys, check out that description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share to become eligible for the giveaway as soon as we hit 30,000 subscribers. I will be doing 15 days of giveaways. Don't forget my tarot course, my manifestation course, everything that I have to offer, my personal readings, the cards that I use, my social media, all of that can be found in the description. So we're going to see what you're leaving behind in 2022 and then what you're going to actually be having come towards you in 2023. So let's get an overall. You can make it through. Your higher self is guiding you. You've gained a lot of wisdom this year, Pisces. This year more than ever. Feeling like maybe the things that felt that they conquered you or had so much power over you at the beginning of 2022 or minor issues or minor things or minor people now. Recognizing that the battles you're brought are giving you the opportunity to go, to go further. Rest, renew, recharge. Okay. So what you're leaving behind is a season of recognizing you can make it through anything. There's been a lot, of, a lot of resting and recharging this year. There's been a lot of recognizing what your body is craving, what it's needing, what it's been missing. And there's also recognition, especially in this year, that in order to receive, you have to release. And I feel like that's been hard. It's really hard to release someone or something that we want. And our human nature is to demand things, to take things. But learning to approach life differently, learning to open up and let the universe allow things to happen naturally, whether it is job, money, love, connections. So that's what you're leaving behind. Where are you going towards? What's coming towards you? 2023. So you're going to be living a lot more in the moment in 2023, recognizing that the moment that you're in is mattering the most and really appreciating where you're at, recognizing your journey as your own. I find it interesting that you're going into 2023 and the numbers here on these cards is 13 and 31, recognizing you're on your own journey. And focusing more on that journey, opening yourself up to more fun, more freedom. <clears throat> in 2023, you're also going to fully embrace the fact that the things that you don't know or the things that you can't see can be the biggest blessings. Really surrendering that control that you once needed, that you once yearned for. A lot of you is really going to be letting go of your anxiety, whether this is social anxiety, anxiety again of what could happen, what's going to happen. Well, what if I do this? And really recognizing that feeling free from the situation is the freedom. When something feels uncomfortable or like it's taking too much effort or pressure or time to make it work. It's because we're going against the current. Maybe it's not time. You're really going into 2023, creating your own reality. And this actually come out in the pre-shuffle. The magician manifesting. <clears throat> not only seeing your power, but using your power. What are you wanting? And there could be a lot of things coming to light in 2023 that everything that you want, money, career, that person wants you to. But in order to get to that, you couldn't run from the darkness. And in 2022, you had to really embrace your shadow side. You had to see the parts of you that you didn't like. You had to see the parts of you that were childish, immature, ego-driven. The parts of you that would run or chase. Maybe there were parts of you that you were scared to look at or address. That's what 2020 do. 2020 dude. 2022 did for you. It got you to a point where you no longer wanted to run. And you fell into it. 
And because of that, the rewards coming in 2023, <clears throat> I said, I said, I heard is beyond your belief. Okay, so what are you leaving behind in 2022? Universe, Spirit, Guides, Angels, what are you leaving behind in 2022? I just heard you're leaving the behind. You're leaving the behind. <laughs> you're leaving behind craving things that you feel are never going to be yours. Giving yourself that break, okay? <clears throat> Maybe you've been planning a future with something. Been juggling. Do I want to let this go? Do I want to move on? Do I want to give in to this? What else are you letting? What are you leaving behind? A lot of you are leaving behind some sense of sadness and disappointment. There's a lot of wands here. Together, this makes seven of wands, but I was going to say six of wands. Someone was really guarded when it come to having a, a successful union with you and that's okay but you're letting it go you're just to have success and victory on your own i keep seeing sixes on this side actually add this together 15 equals six four plus three equals what seven <clears throat> and then i've seen six here and when we move it we see seven again so them being guarded has opened you up to new options new possibilities and what I just heard is your new options are going to be similar, but better. So your new options could remind you of this person if it was a person or a new job, but there could be better things. Someone didn't see success and victory, but you're ultimately going towards success and victory, but you're leaving this behind. You're no longer hoping, wishing. For some of you, you're no longer reminiscing. You're not thinking about these past lovers and soulmates and companions. A lot of you's even gotten out of a place where you're like, I don't want to think about the past at all. What else are you leaving behind in 2022? No longer juggling, no longer feeling unsure. Yeah, giving messages of truth, being honest with yourself. That's what 2022 was all about. Being honest with yourself, being upfront and saying, listen, listen to Melinda. We got to be honest with ourselves. And there could have been something here that made you very discontent, very detached. This could have been the lack of, of an offer given. This could have been the lack of an offer taken. Something you couldn't quite get over. But it's like 2022 is helping you get over it. You're recognizing the, the the mountain, the struggle is behind you. What else are you letting go? <clears throat> Mediocre collaborations. You're no longer collaborating with people just to say that you have friends or acquaintances or lovers. You're understanding you're a different quality of a person. And you're okay with that. Maybe there was a version of you that felt like if you admitted to yourself that you're a different quality of person, it was saying that you were better than someone. And I don't feel that that's the case. Being a different quality of a person is okay. We're all different. But in order to feel understood and respected and seen and heard and loved and valued, we have to deal with those people in the same quality, the same caliber. Leaving those mediocre connections behind. Moving out of rough waters into calmer waters. This year has really brought you peace. Peace on maybe self-love. A lot of you have spent this year by yourself. A lot of you have just, even in a connection, learned how to love yourself this year. Learned how to give to yourself that loving self-love way. But you have found peace this year. You've had to turn your back on a lot, though. <clears throat> Again, giving yourself the permission. For some of you, you've had to turn your back on people who were players. What else are you leaving behind? You're, I was about to say, you're leaving behind quick action taken. 
You're leaving behind the version of you that's not thinking long term. You're leaving behind the people or the connections that only come in and want something from you. You're leaving behind... If anything makes you sacrifice your peace of mind or makes you feel like something's off, you're listening to that. A lot of you are leaving behind indulgence energy. A lot of you could have quit, quit drinking, quit indulging in connections. A lot of you could have become celibate this year. Feeling like a lot of people that you've dealt with and continue to deal with have broke you down. But you're leaving that behind. So what do you have coming in for 2023? What do you have coming in for 2023? A new path, a new journey, smelling the roses, having firm boundaries, respecting yourself, embracing the unknown, embracing the opportunity to write a new future by the universe. It's so crazy because maybe there's aspects of your your past, you know, from 2022 and beyond that you do want a part of your life, but you're also giving it to the universe and saying, okay, if you know that they're going to be a part of my life, I trust and believe that you will continue to let me make room. So when they come in, it'll be easy. We can just go together like butter, but I, until then I'm going to have firm boundaries until then I'm going to focus on my self love and I'm going to continue to manifest. Yeah. And you're living your life completely different. You're not doing the same lessons over and over. <clears throat> Recognizing that you do create your moments in life. And really holding those opportunities. And trying to fulfill them the best that you can. You could be moving really quickly in the future. You could be traveling in 2023. You could be getting something new that involves movement. I see you saving some money in 2023, but I also see you firmly holding true in what you need from connections, whether this is love or friendships, and I see you getting it. What else do you have coming in in 2023? So you're, you're getting out of a place of healing. You've healed so much that 2023 is going to be a season of opening yourself up to new experiences, opening yourself back up to maybe the things you've wanted to do, but you haven't had time to do. Again, 2022 was you focusing on your shadow side, seeing what you needed to deal with, what you needed to conquer. Who was all these people that you were willing to be friends with that you didn't need to be friends with? Were you willing to hold a situation ship, hold on to a situation ship? When it costed you your peace of mind, anything that made you feel lack, less than, or questioned your worth, it's being left behind. That includes players. That includes people who come in for pursuit of passion or people who want to come in, who want to go out. And in 2023, you're putting yourself back out there. You're saying, you know, I trust myself. I trust that I, I feel called to do something. It's for a reason. Yeah, you're going to have victory. You're going to have success. You're A lot of you are also going to go into some sort of commitment in 2023. A lot of you are going to be recognized by multiple suitors who are not going to remind you of anyone from your past. And it's because you did that healing. <clears throat> For a lot of you, I just heard you've turned your world completely upside down. And because of that, you will get the rewards. Yes. In 2023, you're going to really get a, a new perspective on maybe the parts of you that you felt were wounded. Maybe you're going to find beauty in that. Maybe you're going to truly understand why you do what you do and understand that it's a wounded energy and you can fix it. But we can't be mad at ourselves if we're in a fight or flight mode. If the parts of us that have protected us and kept us safe for so long, we can't be mad at us for that, you know? So some of you could definitely be doing that as well. But definitely turning your back on any reunions, dropping the burdens. Now, I do see that for some of you, a burden that you're dropping in due time in 2022 is actually going to get put on the back of someone who wishes that they would have offered you love. You really come in and brought a storm into this person's life. They were very attracted to you. They were very into you. They really liked you. But there could also be something here where you had to move on and bring change and transformation. And in that due time, this person could definitely start losing sleep, feeling burdened, feeling, um, I just heard depressed and overwhelmed. 
<laughs> I just heard, and watching you move on does not help. <laughs> like, that's kind of the energy here. Yeah, what did I just say? Watching you have victory, have success, get recognized, it, it's bothering me. It could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus who could have had their wall up, who could have been guarded, who didn't want to make a choice or acted like there wasn't a choice to be made. Now, for some of you, if they made a choice, it was a head over heart choice and they didn't take into consideration that maybe they really liked you. Watching you invest, watching the things that you're investing in flourish. So, in 2023, a lot of things that you put your effort and your time into, you're going to see grow. You know, if these are animals, you're going to see them be healthy. You're going to see them be happy. If these are plants, you're going to be like, wow, can you believe that plant was almost dead when I got it and I nursed that baby right back to life? You're going to see that maybe all of these years, it wasn't that you didn't have the magic to grow something. It was that you were pouring your cup of water, this itty bitty, teeny weeny, little bitty cup of water into a house fire. Let's be honest. Do we really think a little cup of water is going to put out a house fire? No. But you had that passion. You had that drive to try to make it work. And those are the, that's the reason you're getting these blessings. That's the reason you're getting benefited and you're having success and you're having victory. And now there's someone going, oh, damn, I probably should have. And you done left me behind. How do they feel about that? heartbroken, sad, disappointed. They feel like the passion for you has not died. They feel like you look better than you ever have. They lose sleep over that. They think about the times that they had with you, the times that they did get to spend with you. They feel like, especially in 2023, you're going to look better than you ever have. A lot of you could be getting in shape in 2023. Again, having a sense of curiosity. Maybe you're going to be traveling more or doing new crafts. There's going to be a part of you coming out that's going to be okay with growing, with expanding. Um, let's say you want new furniture and you're like, okay, instead of buying new furniture, I'm going to redo this instead. There's going to be parts of you coming out that maybe you've never really noticed, acknowledged, or even dabbled with. But it's giving yourself the ability to say, okay, you know, I've given my time and my effort to so much and maybe it hasn't grown. Whatever those things are, it's the wrong thing. But whoever it was that told you no in the past, they're losing sleep. They're feeling like they can feel the heat come off of you through the phone. They feel like you're the ultimate package when it comes to what they could want in a forever partner. So what's holding them back from that? What's holding them back from that? The moon. They're needing to do a lot of self-reflection on why they're so guarded. Why they put the decision off so far. And continue to juggle instead of making a choice that they lost you. Because here's the thing. When you don't make a choice and you continue to put it off, that's a choice within itself. They have to ask themselves some hard questions. They've seen you as this ultimate partner, this ultimate person. But them not taking action or doing what they felt they needed to do or called to do or what they should have done is the reason this hasn't gone anywhere. There's a lot here to be said about you showing up as someone who's very stable, grounded, practical. There's a lot of nurturing and growing energy coming in for 2023. So definitely growing a new reality. I just heard a reality where everything I give to understands the power of me giving to it. So no longer giving just to give. No longer giving just because you love someone. You want to make sure it's equal. But what you don't know is that there could be somebody actually still kind of hidden in the shadows that's kind of really into you. Wanting to have the strength, but feeling out of control when it comes to this situation. 
I'm hearing I should be over all the butterflies. I'm still into you. So still feeling like you tear them up and give them butterflies when they speak to you. And they don't necessarily like that, but they do, but they don't, but they do, but they don't. They like it because they like feeling like that, but they don't like it because to them it's not having control. Feeling really guarded because they didn't make a choice. Feeling like they can't let you go. Obsessively thinking about taking a leap and wanting to give you some sort of truth about how they've been putting this off and how they've been blocked. They've really been looking at some sort of ending here. Huh. Why do they want to come after you in 2023, though? What the heck? Because I want a second chance. They could definitely want something deeper here. They could want some sort of commitment, some sort of union, something traditional, wanting to balance this and heal this. Feeling like it just wasn't the right time. Okay, let's keep going. What are you moving towards in 2023? So something's going to come out. You're going to get some sort of apology from someone who, again, has been in a juggling state on whether or not they wanted to give in to this. In 2022, they didn't see success and victory. Maybe they haven't for a while. This could be the person who's been leaving you out. Wanting to communicate and teach you or let you learn something in 2022, but I do see it coming out in 2023, possibly an apology. Feeling like this is a really deep, loving connection. Not understanding why... They feel pulled to walk away from it, but feel pulled to stay. See, it's interesting because we have this energy here as well. That's the in and out energy, and that's what I'm getting. The parts of them that comes running in is the parts of them that doesn't want to live without you, is crazy about you. But, but the parts of them that has them running out is the parts of them that's terrified of commitment, terrified of getting close. Wanting to come in and possibly apologize for that and tell you that they wanted to work on this, but they've been in between worlds and they haven't known what to do they have felt hopeful but they've also felt trapped and they know that you're over just this mediocre connection because you want more this could definitely be a message of good news coming in for you in 2023 of a new beginning i do see that it could take some time for you guys to again get on the same page both of you could be feeling really guarded when it comes to your stability and on how much you're going to have to give to make this work so both of you could definitely get to a point where you're like okay in 2023 if this is definitely somebody from your past who's finally ready to come in and bite the bullet you're going to look at them and say i'm ready to give but let's give slowly because I want to trust you. You want to trust me. I want to know that I'm safe. You want to know that you're safe. So, and a lot of this has to do with this person going over past choices, past mistakes. Feeling like they can finally make this happen. I just heard there's a lot of ways we can make this work. So, let's just talk this through. Interesting. But I feel like it's taken time to get here. Time to get to this crossroads. So much so that, again, there's an energetic, like, I'm done. What are you leaving behind in 2022? Okay. So, speaking balance. Getting balance in. Okay. You could have, there could have been some sense of hostilities in 2022. Somebody could have had to speak something that pissed them off when it comes to do with love. Or some sort of connection. Now, this could be a friendship. This doesn't necessarily have to be like a loving union. But you didn't feel appreciated by somebody. And you felt attached. But you also felt like there wasn't... We're not going anywhere. And this person could have actually been really envious of you and how much they cared for you. So, what are you going towards in 2023? It's interesting because I feel like this person was envious on how much they felt for you, how much passion they had for you, and they were envious because they, they were like, why do I feel this when I don't see a way to make this work, when I don't see a way to have success and victory? And what you're going toward in 2023 is someone who's going to want to come in with their heart. What did I flip-flop and tell y'all? 
wanting a contract, wanting to have the strength to come in and give you some sort of truth and clarity, I'm telling you, about some indecision and about possibly them being deceitful. Why they didn't tell you everything. Why they've been keeping secrets. Why you have felt like, I know we vibe and why ain't you telling me? There's a reason why. So in 2023, this person's going to come out. I'm hearing that song. It's pink. I'm coming out, so you better get this party started. Yeah. Feeling like you really care for them and they really care for you. But having a lot of anxiety because they know that you had to leave them behind in 2022 to get balance for yourself. And for some of you, they could have been pissed at you because you had to do something that was best for you. But it could have taken some time for them to understand that that's what's best for you. I know some of you are going to get really mad at me because you're like, I don't want a past person. This connection, this one is faded. 165%. 165%. I hope that card actually comes out, to be honest with you. Wanting to play it by the book. Feeling like they weren't for you at one point. But seeing synchronicities and seeing things... They just, they just don't understand why if they weren't for you, why can't I get you off my mind? Feeling blessed to get to know you. Thinking about how this story should never end. Knowing deep down. There's like a deep inner knowing that this isn't over. Happy, happy. Wanting to be flexible. Wanting to put in the work and the effort. Wanting to maybe get to know your friends, your kids, your animals, the community. This person's ready to like jump all in and mend this. Feeling like you hold yourself very well. But they had to ask their self why. And that was their... 2022 thing. Why? Why am I so curious to pick up this book and read it? I've never been interested in this topic, this subject, because it was meant for them. It reminds me of me with tarot. When I first heard of tarot, I was like, what are you talking about? What is that? <laughs> I have no idea. And then once I learned about it, I was obsessed. And I didn't understand why. All I knew is I was addicted. I couldn't get enough. I wanted to know more. And that's how I feel that this person is when it comes to you. Okay, we're actually going to leave this here because I did not mean, yeah, a lot of self-reflection, I'm telling you. I didn't mean for this to turn into a love reading, but okay, it is what it is. We're leaving it here. Have a blessed day, guys.